we are starting off mostly muggy. Of course, winds still a bit breezy across the area. The good news is that those winds will die down later on today. But if you are heading out the door this morning, temperatures at 67 in McAllen, Harlingen 69, Brownsville at 69 degrees. As uh, we head off to school this morning, expect those temps to continue being in the upper 60s, low 70s there. But of course, uh, those uh, breezy conditions are lasting at least through the noon hour, and we will see some calmer conditions later on uh, this afternoon. So highs in the 80s for today. We are going to be just a bit warmer than what we were sitting at this uh, time yesterday. But dew points right now are in the 60s right now. So we're seeing those southerly winds bringing back that humidity, of course those muggy conditions are going to be at play at least through the next uh, 24 to 48 hours, but we are expecting uh, those winds to be about 510 miles an hour later on this evening. But of course, uh, in the overnight hours, we could see just a burst of uh, some windy conditions and we could start off uh, a little bit on the calmer side for tomorrow. So of course, potential some potential fog in the forecast if we're heading out the door tomorrow morning. The latest drought monitor showing those increasing drought conditions for our northern areas. We do need the rain or else these drought conditions will spread across to our populated areas, but unfortunately we're not expecting much in the terms of rain chances, at least for the next few days. Other portions of Texas still dealing with some extreme to exceptional drought conditions, but of course uh, mostly clear all across the Lone Star State. As we look at the big picture here for the next seven days, we have a front now moving through the Texas Panhandle. This front not strong enough to make it this far south. It's going to stall before it reaches the valley. We're not going to see much change in our temperatures, at least uh, for the next 24 to 48 hours. However, heading into Wednesday, a stronger front in the forecast that could bring us some coastal rain showers there. But this front's going to pack a bit of a stronger punch. And of course, we are going to see those highs back down into the 70s, overnight lows into the 50s for the end of our work week, clearing out for Thursday. Also, weather models hanging around at a low pressure system that's going to form over the Gulf of Mexico. So we could see some scattered showers in the picture for this next weekend. So we do have a slight rain chance nothing widespread, just a few showers and a lot more cloud cover as we head into this next weekend. So of course the sunshine becoming it to an end as we head into the end of our work week. So today, high temperature 86 in the lower valley, upper valley 87, winds gusting up to 23 miles an hour. As we look at those lows tonight, we're going to once again see those lows dropping into the 60s. Winds uh, fairly calm there, and we could see some fog in the picture. For your seven-day forecast, expect those temperatures to continue being a bit on the warmer side uh, for the next two to three days with a few clouds across the area. Overnight lows in the 60s, but then that next cold front moving through on Wednesday, bringing those highs down in into the 70s for Thursday and Friday, and that's where we're going to see a few showers uh, move through for this next weekend there. So overnight lows back into the 50s. You might need a sweater heading out the door as we go into the end of our work week. But of course, those afternoon temps a bit on the more comfortable side, but we're not really expecting those clear and sunny days like we've been experiencing this past few days. We're going to be dealing with a bit more cloud cover as we head into the rest of our work week.